here today to talk about the iPad Impact case for Generation 2, 3, and 4. Alright, this is a new case in our inventory, and we're here to explore how to use it. As you can see, we have a hardcover on the inside, rubber exterior on the outside. First off, if you want to um, put the iPad in, make sure all the ports are open. And here we go. There should be four ports. Make sure you make, get, get those open. Once that is, you take one corner at a time. You want the rubber piece out first before you insert anything else. So I get the bottom left corner out, and I move my way to the bottom right corner. Slide it out, easy as that. Go up to the top, slide that out. Oh, there will be little grips gripping onto it, so just be careful there. Don't use too much force. It's really easy to stretch it too far. You don't want to do that. Once it's out, you can see here's the interior, here's the exterior. Now, you place it somewhere else for now, and you focus on this. You want to open it up. This doesn't take a lot of muscle. See? Opens right up. This is the back piece, and this is the front piece. Alright, now we're going to insert the iPad into the case. As you can see, I'm going to match up the back camera with the back camera slot right there. Once that's in, we'll know all the ports should match up as long as the camera is matched up. So here we go. All right, that piece is in. You place the top cover over the iPad. Make sure that the camera is open and also the um, on and off port. See, the camera has an oval port. On and off port has a circle port. Once it's in, make sure all the clicks were heard. It should click right in, so that way it doesn't open unnecessarily. See, there we go. All right, once that's in, we're going to place it back into the rubber exterior. Once again, make sure all of the folds are open so it doesn't damage the case in any way. What I like to do is I like to insert the top and end first. There we go. Once again, matching up the camera port. Once that's in, leave it there for a little bit, and I choose a side. I put one finger in between the hard cover and the rubber cover. Now I just slide along, do, I stretch a little bit, use both hands, force it in there, and I keep going. I switch hands as you can see, same mechanic, do it however you feel comfortable. As long as you get the exterior, uh, the interior hard case to the exterior rubber case. Once in, there should be little grips that you push down. You can feel them actually along the edge. You push it in so that way there's no bump. You see how there's a bump right here? There's a little grip right there. It goes into this little slot right there. You see that? All you do is put it in there, push down, voila. Now it's smooth. All right, now let's explore the ports. Like I said, the camera port is invisible. The on and off port is also visible. There you go, it's on. We have our mic. So when you want to talk on Skype, talk to your friends, or whatever messengers you have. We also have the headphone jack, fully accessible. The port for the mute button is also accessible. However, the volume button does not have a port, but you can still press it and everything should be absolutely fine. It's right here, this is where the volume buttons are. On the bottom, on the back, as you can see, we have a speaker uh, port, which allows no muffles when you're watching a movie or talking on Skype or any messenger. And also the charging port is fully accessible. You notice this uh, rectangular white strip right here on the back, it's actually the stand. When you pull it out, it acts as a stand for vertical and horizontal. So easy to use, right? Now, when you put your case in there, make sure your device is on free rotation. As you can see, right now, it's right side up. But when I switch it around, it's still right side up. So that way you can use all the function you want uh, without any hassle. Alright, and that is our review for the iPad Impact case.